My clouds look so awesome right now. It's about 7 a.m. Woke up about like 10 minutes ago. And my eyes are still gunked up. You have to take a shower or anything. But I'm going to do a little day of eating. Day of ketogenic eating today. Um, I actually had not weighed or measured any of my food in a while. Because I usually stick with real simple meals and um, I'm just kind of in a nice group. I don't need to track every gram of my macros like I did in the beginning or like I would if I had a very specific goal. I just get distracted by the view. It's so nice. But um, yeah, I'll do a day of keto eating. I'll weigh and measure my food so you guys have an idea of uh, what I've been doing. Um, mostly eating intuitively lately, but still probably sticking to around 100 to 120 grams of protein and I don't know, I'd guess at least 200 grams of fat lately and getting lots of food in. Um, but I don't know, not that hungry today. It's 7 o'clock, I'll probably have my first meal at around 11. I thought about going for a little hike this morning, but I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to chill out, do some stretching, do maybe a little bit of calisthenics, and get some work done. So, show you the food when it comes. Probably won't come for at least a few hours. I'll probably eat my first meal at around 11 or 12, maybe around 12. I'll probably just eat like two meals today, maybe three. We'll see. But, day of ketogenic eating and a day in the life here. It's about 11.15 a.m., this is going to be my first meal, and I'm doing, of course, like I said earlier, full day of eating, ketogenic eating, um, along with intermittent fasting. Now, I don't do intermittent fasting every day, although it is a powerful tool, and I really enjoy it because I love the feeling that I get in that deep ketogenic state when I'm fasted. Even if I eat a super high-fat meal, very low-protein load, so as not to spike insulin at all and to keep those ketones high, I just don't feel as awesome as I do when I'm in that fasted state. Um, really enjoy the fasted state. Intermittent fasting is very fun for me. Um, don't recommend it to everybody. I don't do it all the time. But today it looks like I'll probably eat within like a six or eight hour eating window. Just wasn't hungry this morning. And it's about 11.15, maybe even later now. Um, and I've got my meal all made up. And just for you guys, I weighed everything so I know all the macros. Um, so we're looking at 100 and wait, 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 no, no. We're looking at 54 grams of protein, 75 and a half grams of fat, and nine grams of carb. Now at the end of the day today, I'll probably hit around 100 grams of protein, maybe a little less, maybe a little bit more, and anywhere from 150 to 200 grams of fat. Um, now, I have been putting on some lean muscle. I've been working out pretty hard, so I might eat more than two meals today. I might increase the caloric load because I might be hungry. I'm not sure. Um, depending on your goals, depending on the context, you may or may not have to be more or less strict about hitting your macros. Um, so, yeah, let me show you the meal I've got today. I'm going to turn the camera around. Um, and I'll bring it outside so we get some better lighting on the food. They, first things first, these are the keto... Let's see if I can get good lighting. There we go. Some keto muffins that Jessica made. So here it is, guys. This is that keto muffin that I was just talking about. It's got 15 grams of butter on it. And those little crystals you see are uh, sea salt. Actually, it's a mined salt locally here in Ecuador and this is one avocado with 80 grams of broccoli some sea salt some pepper and a couple other little spices all mashed up stirred around so I've got my greens in there got my potassium from avocado got a whole bunch of fat that avocado probably had around 29 grams of fat um, then here We've got, these are made with, I actually can't give the exact recipe, it's going to be in Jessica's recipe book, but these are awesome. These are these little like keto flatbread type pancake things. Those are kind of smothered in coconut oil right there. I'm loving coconut oil lately. I've been on a coconut oil kick. 
Um, just really like how it tastes. With some sea salt sprinkled on there. Now these are made with flax and chia and egg and some green powder that Jessica makes. I think just a very small amount of green powder. Maybe she didn't even put any green powder in there now. Um, and then this is mackerel. There's the crux of it, loaded with DHA. Um, again, it's hard to get a good, there you go, look how beautiful that is. Just loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, DHA, um, wild caught mackerel. Yes, it comes from a can, it is not absolutely fresh. It comes out of a can, but it's still 10 times better than any of the, uh, any chicken or grass-fed beef you're gonna find. As far as nutrition, decreasing inflammation, and uh, providing beneficial ketogenic proteins, that's gonna be one of the best sources of nutrition, is marine animals. We're looking at 54 grams of protein, 75 and a half grams of fat, and nine grams of carb. Okay, so I'm eating up here on the porch, got, got the munchkin. Ariana's studying. What are you studying about? She's reading an Ina May book about natural childbirth. Here's Jessica. <laughs> hey guys. I just wanted to compliment Jessica on her amazing muffin thing. This thing is absolutely absurdly good. And she just invented this recipe this morning. She's such a whiz. What's in this? It's a mixture of eggs, broccoli, coconut flour, a little bit of salt and some baking soda. Well, I have butter on there. People are like, that's so good. Like I got a bunch of butter. <laughs> um, yeah, this is delicious. It actually tastes tastes almost sweet to me. Like it actually tastes. I don't know. This is like the sweetest thing that I eat. Your palate starts to change when you eat a ketogenic diet and eat a lot more savory foods. Um, you end up craving salts more. Just goes doing some stretching. <laughs> that was a cool stretch. Um, your palate starts to change. I mean, this taste, to me, this taste, this is like as satisfying as any sweet carbohydrate-based food. I don't know, I'm definitely gonna have to eat some more of those today, so. Um, my macros may be changing by the minute as I try these delicious foods. But yeah, I just had to give an update on that. Um, let's test out my little, my little guacamole mix right now. Oh yeah, it's awesome. Um, Something I do like to do too with the uh, avocado. If I like take some avocado and some greens or something. Uh, what I did th with this one was take avocado with the ground up broccoli, mash it up together with salt. Putting some apple cider vinegar in there can give it this nice, like awesome taste as well. So sometimes I put, we have a different type of vinegar. It's made locally here. They call it like vinagre de plantas medicinales. And it's just, I don't know, some local supposedly medicinal plants in a, uh, a homemade vinegar and it's awesome so I didn't do that today but that's just another tip you can do if you're gonna try a meal like this but um yeah there's several components to this meal most of them just because I kind of prepared in bulk so that they're just ready like these pancakes those she makes batches of them so we just have like three four days worth of them and um yeah I really like them I think Jessica's sick of them she doesn't even eat them right now <laughs> right babe yeah, she doesn't eat them anymore, so may, they might last like four days. Um, but she kind of bulk prepares quite a bit of the food, so we already had the broccoli, just threw it in with the avocado, mixed it up, tossed some coconut oil on those little um, pancakes, the keto pancakes, and um, yeah, the mackerel came in a can. So, really simple meal. I mean, this could be something that I could eat on the go, bring with me, eat anywhere, prepare it in like five minutes because Jessica already did all the hard work and pre-prepped all the food. But pre-prepping food is a really great way to, uh, to go about it. So you've got your vegetables already. Um, you've got certain basic foods that are already laid out, already ready for you to eat. So I'm gonna finish my meal now. I've talked long enough. I'm gonna enjoy this. A little tip about proper meal timing. Intra-meal timing. <laughs> you gotta save those best bites for last. I took that first bite and then I saved this muffin for the very end because it tasted so good. I just want to finish off on that muffin, finishing off on the best bites. Um, <laughs> I remember when I was a kid. Daisy, what are you barking at? Calm down. Duke's hungry. Duke, you hungry? He just barks when he wants food. I remember when I was a kid, little chubby boy, he used to eat several bowls of Lucky Charms every morning and 
I would uh, I would eat the little <clears throat> like the rice pieces first and save the super sweet marshmallow ones for the end. Um, old habits die hard, so yeah, I still save my favorite bites for last. <laughs> we went for a workout. It was awesome, and back here to share my second meal of the day. Now, on the average day, I'll probably only eat two meals, and on the average day, I'd probably hit around 100 grams of protein, 200, maybe 220 fat, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more, depending. I don't count everything or weigh everything every single day. Once you've done that for a little bit and you understand what your food consists of, um, it's really easy to eyeball stuff and to know what your body needs and know what it wants. So you don't always have to weigh and measure all your food. It's just it's kind of interesting every once in a while. So for you guys, weigh and measuring all my food today. And um, in the beginning, when I work with clients, I usually do have them weigh and measure their food um, for at least two weeks. So here we go. Got the same keto flatbread as earlier with about like 20 grams of coconut oil on it, a little bit of salt. We've got some meatballs that Jessica made. Um, with some grass-fed, locally raised beef, delicious. And got another one of these muffins, 15 grams of butter on there, get some fats in. Broccoli, just lightly salted, and uh, sauerkraut. So I'll end up eating all these kind of together. Oh, and then here's the most important part, a bowl of one avocado, one avocado with some spices and salt, and just mixed up, so yeah. Real simple meal, 37 grams of protein, 106 grams of fat, 5.5 grams of carbohydrates. So here we go, gonna take this down, it's gonna be delicious, and it's gonna be not warm anymore because I had to add everything up. <laughs> so, all right, talk to you later. All right, so that was the second meal of the day. Let's give you the total macro count now. I'm at 181.5 grams of fat, 91 grams of protein, 14 and a half grams of carbohydrate. And here is the final meal of the day. It's kind of a little half meal. So this meal we're looking at right here, 19 grams of protein, 26 and a half grams of fat, and a measly two grams of net carbohydrates. So we got one hard boiled egg, a little bit of salt on there, um, some delicious homemade sauerkraut. It's got a lot of flavor, so I use that to kind of flavor every bite. And then another one of these awesome keto muffins that Jessica made with about 12 grams of bonus coconut oil smeared on there to give me some fats in. All right, so that's it, about to eat this last meal. That's gonna put me at a daily total of 110 grams of protein, 207.5 grams of fat, and just 16 and a half grams of carbohydrate. Um, so yeah, that's what I ate today. Don't normally track my macros every day, but just for you guys, just for this special video, and to show a lot of my clients that it's really not that hard to track for the first couple of weeks um, to a month or so to get a really good idea of what you are eating, what your body needs, what your macros, the targeted macros you're going for feel like. And um, once you get into a groove, it's a lot easier to stay consistent and eyeball. Um, I like to keep it relatively simple. I eat a lot of the same foods pretty consistently, although Jessica loves making awesome recipes. Um, me, personally, I don't know, I'm just weird. I like to kind of eat the same stuff over and over again. So uh, that's not necessary for everybody. But if you're mixing it up a whole lot, it does become more important to kind of watch those macros, watch where you're going with it, especially in the beginning on a ketogenic diet. you got to stay tight. you got to keep it tight. So we're looking at 110 grams of protein, 207.5 grams of fat, and 16.5 grams of carbohydrate. That's a total of about 2,378 calories. And um, for me, that's probably around maintenance, maybe slightly above maintenance. And, um, but at maintenance calories, you can add lean muscle mass while taking off body fat. So if you dial in your, your nutrition correctly, you dial in your training and you're getting good rest, your hormones are good, you're doing things right, um, you can do some pretty significantly awesome body recomposition changes. So, I'm going to take down this last meal. It is about 6.15 or 6.20 right now. So I guess I ate within seven hour intermittent fasting eating window today. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check out the sunset while I eat my food and enjoy the evening with my family. Hope you guys have a great day. Um, hit us up www.primaledgehealth.com. Plenty more content to come. I'll see you next time. Check out the sunset.